In this video, we present our benchmark comparison of learned control policies for agile quadrotor flight. Quadrotors are highly agile machines that require carefully tuned controllers in order to be pushed to their physical limits. Recent work has proposed learning-based approaches to quadrotor control. Learned policies have the distinct advantage of directly mapping raw sensory observations to control commands, thus avoiding the need for complex controller design and tuning. Prior work on learning-based quadrotor control exhibits a large variety in terms of control input modality. We aim to understand how the level of abstraction at the control input impacts the learning process and ultimately the performance of the learned control policy. Learned control policies typically map observations through a function approximator directly to control commands. In this work, we evaluate the robustness of policies learned entirely in simulation on a real racing quadrotor. Inputs used for quadrotor control can come in the form of linear velocities, body rates with collective thrusts, and direct rotor thrusts. We train different policies for each form of control input to evaluate tracking precision and agility across a variety of trajectories. First, we investigate policies that predict linear velocities and yaw rates. These policies require an underlying control stack with access to state estimation in order to map the predicted velocities to motor commands. Next, we train a control policy which outputs collective thrust and body rates. This command is then tracked by a low-level PID controller. Finally, we train another control policy which directly outputs desired motor commands without relying on another controller in the loop. Each of these control policies are trained in a simple but fast quadrotor simulator. To increase robustness against model mismatch, each policy is trained using domain randomization of the dynamics properties and has access to a history of observations. The trained policies are tested in two different settings. In the nominal model setting, we do not apply dynamics randomization and test each policy within the training environment. This allows us to compare the maximum possible performance of each control modality. In the model mismatch setting, the policies trained with domain randomization are tested in a highly accurate quadrotor simulator that leverages blade element momentum theory to precisely predict forces and torques acting on the platform, even at high speeds. Our experiments show that control policies predicting single rotor thrusts perform well in the nominal setting, but are very sensitive to model mismatches, leading to reduced tracking performance on slow trajectories or even crashes on faster trajectories. Policies predicting linear velocity commands show little sensitivity to model mismatch, but perform inferior to both other approaches in either setting. In contrast, policies predicting collective thrust and body rates are able to track even the most agile trajectories while being robust to model mismatch. We deploy the learned policy predicting collective thrusts and body rates on a real platform without any fine tuning. Our policy is able to track various trajectories which stress the performance of the control policy in different ways. The slowest trajectory is a simple positional step input of 1 meter from a hover condition. Next, we fly a circle trajectory which requires a collective mass normalized thrust of up to 22.3 meters per second squared. On the lemniscate trajectory, the quad rotor needs to perform high body rate maneuvers and achieves accelerations of up to 2.5 Gs. We show how the quad tracks a trajectory that imitates drone racing. This trajectory features a combination of high speed sequences with complex turns such as a split S maneuver. Our experiments demonstrate for the first time that a quadrotor control policy trained entirely in simulation can be deployed on a real platform to track agile maneuvers with accelerations of up to 3 Gs.